Hi friends, so if you follow me for like literally any amount of time, you'll know that I really like stationery and taking notes. So yeah, I've taken handwritten notes my whole life because you know, that's what's worked best for me. And also like what else was I gonna write with? I didn't have a laptop before. But yeah, handwritten notes has always been like the best way for me to learn. And also I just kind of liked it and I like making my notes pretty, but since online school started, uh, I just kind of ran out of motivation and energy to write notes and I just kind of gave up. Like when online school first started, like my school didn't have much of a structure. So I, I think I took like two notes for my history class and that was it. Like I didn't even take notes like on my laptop or anything because I didn't really need to. Most of my grades, like we just kind of turn to doing assignments mostly so i didn't learn a lot when uh, school first started but this new uh, new school year things are a little bit more structured and i do need to take notes not necessarily for the tests because my tests have been pretty easy um and we're again we're mostly doing assignments but yeah i've been taking notes um but again i didn't want to take handwritten notes because i'm just like i don't know i became lazy i guess um so i wanted to try out taking notes on my laptop which i had never done before um so first i started using OneNote because um uh, my school provided me with like a thing for OneNote. so i was like hmm, let's try this and maybe i'm just dumb but if it kind of like it was kind of complicated um and it just had too many options and i was like you mm, my brain is small i can't take this so i was like duh notion <laughs> like i've been using notion for like at that point i had been using notion for like what a year maybe yeah i don't know why i didn't think of that before but anyway i started using uh, notion to take my notes and it's been pretty great to be honest i like how simple it is and yeah it's not as aesthetic as when i used to take my notes like uh handwritten but you know it works and i think it's kind of cute like not to be like too cocky but i think my notion notes are cute um so i'm going to show you how i take this notion and also how i make them kind of cute you know it's really simple like notion has a really simple interface for notes but yeah so in this video i'm just going to show you how i take notes and just like all the formats and like the tools i use how to use them so it's going to be like a tutorial kind of thing and yeah i'm going to take you to my computer now and Let's get started. I need to stop doing finger guns. It's getting embarrassing. Okay, let's go. All right, so if you're not familiar with my Notion setup, and this is basically what I use for school. Um, so I have this section where it says like notebooks. So basically this is just a gallery. If you don't know how to do that, basically you just click the um, slash, which opens the commands. So you just go, slash and then you can type gallery and click on gallery inline and it will create the same thing i have right here um it looks a bit different because the only thing i did was okay first i changed the size of this and then also i added a property here for uh, pictures so okay let's say that i put a picture here and i wanted to show that so i go to the three dots and properties and then car preview and then it should it should like show you the property and then it will show you the image so basically that's what i've done here and also i've made it so that it shows some of the properties like the tags and stuff all right so right now i have it in all of my classes so usually i just have it in my current classes these are like my classes for my second semester but i'm only taking physics right now so technically i'm not taking notes right now like on my laptop but it's fine this still counts um, so yeah, this is usually what it looks like, but I'm gonna show you how my notes look like for my past classes because, you know, right now I'm not taking any notes. Um, but yeah, so let's start with how I like organize my notes. So first I'm gonna show you how like I, my, my evolution of how I started organizing my notes in Notion. Because first I started doing just this really simple, just like dividing it by sections. This is for my English class. So I was like, okay, I'll just divide it by sections because there weren't like that many notes kind of. Um, again, it was mostly assignments. And then for my religion class, there were a bit more, um, notes like a lot of notes so i decided to create different toggle lists so basically what i did was um i typed the greater 
greater than sign and it just creates a toggle list and then three um three dashes to create a line um so yeah that's basically what i did to create um that um so yeah i have it like divided by different units um and then on this side i have like an, a section for my assignments so i just linked my master to do list so this is my master to do list and then here i would just link it and then filter it to only show um this like tasks for this class so basically how i did is type slash um and then link create link database and then you just type whatever database you want to link and there you go pretty easy again if you want to like really learn how to use notion i recommend just taking out my notion tutorial because i go really in depth there just explaining everything and how everything works but yeah so this is like my last thing of how i was organizing um my notes this is my last class but i recently created this template for my classes whenever i have a new class so um marketing i still like my next class is marketing so basically what my school has done is divide the whole school year in eight little parts so i have one class per month kind of i created this new template so here i have like a quick notes section so i have it like posting notes like in quotation marks because it's not actually posting notes uh, but i need to like quickly jot down something like oh let's say that the teacher says something about the test so like i'm be like oh test on tuesday blah 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 and then i can go oh um read section 1.1 something like that you know so i thought this was like a good way of having that because sometimes teachers would say that and i, I didn't i like forgot about it um so i'm just gonna delete this and then here again i have a link to my master to list and in this case i would just add a filter um so that it only show it only hello it only shows me um this class but i don't have a tag for this class yet because you know I, i'm still not taking this class and then here i have a section for my notes so right now it's all gray but like you know whenever i do have like notes and stuff i would create that make it cute you know at different colors so i would just like create a new note let's say like um and here i can you know you can like select the unit or in the keywords because sometimes like for example for my religion class sometimes i'll be like like these are there are, there's a lot of information like for example um like here this is a really big note i even had to like put an index to it because it was so big um so like sometimes i'd be like oh i i know i like oh let's say that i need to find like oh um ethics of indigenous peoples and i'd be like oh i know that that's like somewhere in here but i just don't know where so i decided to put keywords here so if i have like a big note i would just put like all the topics that it it talks about and then when i took the note and then if i reviewed it like for the test and stuff and then like you can just open it and then you take your notes um so let's actually go to what my um my notes look like now so here i have some examples of what my notes looks like so these are some like of my religion um my religion notes so this one is very simple very straightforward but as you can see i still use like toggle lists um to make sure that the page is a little bit less cluttered because if i had like these open all the time you know it'd be like a lot let me show you another one all right so this one is another one from my religion class and i add like different uh headings like sizes of headings sometimes i have like a call out here to kind of exp like summarize the main idea or whatever and sometimes i have it at the end to summarize or just like to highlight something important i'm gonna show you like all of these tools in a little bit so don't worry but i just wanted to show you like what my notes look like um some more religion notes uh this one i had to like add a picture and stuff so you can still do all those things in um in notion like notes in notion are very straightforward but at the same time i wanted to make them cute so for example this is um these are some english notes that i had to take and i think these are really cute i like the pops of color and like yeah these are like links to different articles and stuff yeah so it's like i i added call outs to like summarize information so this is just kind of what they look like all right so now i'm gonna show you like what my process is to create like a new node all right so as i said usually 
store and not usually but like when i can i had a call out at the beginning to kind of like oh explain what this lesson is about like um oh i don't know let's see that this is like my notes for physics and it's like um energies blah 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 i don't i don't want to think about physics right now <laughs> all right so that's first um and then like some shortcuts for headings are using hashtags so there are three different um sizes for headings one two and three one is the biggest three is the smallest but sometimes when you're writing you don't want to like have to click open the commands and then like you know go through all that so a shortcut is using the hashtags so that's for heading three heading two heading one um so yeah let's see i don't know let's say chapter one or something so as i showed you before the toggle list the um the shortcut for a toggle list is the greater than sign is that the greater than sign maybe it's the lesser than i don't actually know and then if you want to put something inside it you just click enter and then tap and then you can type inside of it as you can see this it's downward so that means it's open to add like a bullet point you just type dash and it creates a bullet point um, um and then another shortcut is something that i use a lot is dividers so dividers are you know it's in the name they divide the page um but sometimes i just use it for like aesthetic purposes or if i actually want to like divide if i actually need to like separate something i just use um you just type the three dashes like i said before um so other things that i use a lot are adding color and highlights so okay let's say so we have like text um so you know the normal formats are like bold italic italics underline so again shortcuts are like the best way to take notes like when you're taking notes shortcuts are the, way, are the best to use because you know you want to be as effective as possible so you just select it and then do Control b um then for italics control i and then for underline control u then to add color you just have to select it and then click on the color if you've recently like used uh like a background color or a color so let's say that the color for this note is red so let's say that i have some more text here it's like oh i also wanna i'll make this word red so you just select it and you press ctrl shift h and that's gonna like use the last the latest format that you use like for color it does the same for uh background so I just use the red background and say that I want to use it again, Ctrl Shift H, and it's going to use the red background again. So another thing that I do a lot when I'm taking notes is embedding things. Um, sometimes it's PDFs, sometimes it's uh, pictures as I showed it before, but basically the only thing you have to do is press slash to open the commands and then type embed. And then you can just paste the link here or upload a file you can even like embed a youtube video which i've done a lot when i have to take notes from youtube videos yeah i use this uh feature a lot and also another thing that's important to know about notion is that you can import your notes so well you can import like document so let's say that your teacher provided you with like a, a word document or like something yeah like a word document uh for like i don't know a worksheet that you should have or i don't i don't know some notes and you can just go to import and you can just open the file you know these are all the options that um notion gives you so you can just import the file and it's gonna like uh kind of what is what is the word not transfer it but like make it so that it's a notion okay let me show you so it's gonna import your file and as you can see it's gonna like make it text here um if in case you have some like word documents and you want to move it all to notion and here sometimes as you can see it does like uh copy the formats and stuff but some in but still you can like add more you can format it a little bit more and stuff so this was really really useful especially for my english class because my teacher would like give us a lot of like worksheets and i wanted to have it all in one place so this was the best option for that um it will import to like a random page not a random page but like outside your page so you do have to like click and move it to um in this case i guess it's like less than one there so yeah and then it's gonna be right here so that's literally all of the tools i use to take notes as you can see very simple but i i, I think i still managed to make them a little bit cute um something you can also do if you want to like 
make it super cute is change the font i don't like to do this with my notes because i find that these are not as easy to read um and it would just like distract me from actually reading the information like when i have like a lot of text like let's say like this one i don't know why but i just i don't like how this looks so i just use the default but yeah that's something you can do if you want to like a little bit more of um customization and also you can add like a cover and an icon to this i don't really do this because i don't find it necessary but you can just add an icon and a cover and you can even like add pictures as i said again embed and you can just upload a picture here let me show you and there you go in in it's gonna embed the picture if you want to be a little more extra you can even add like customized titles so what i would do if i had had like more motivation and like will to do this i would just go to canva i'm gonna listen to the link to that below but you probably heard of canva it's like a free design app kind of so i would just like add text to a picture and like download it and then embed it here so this could be like your title for your note and i think that that would be pretty cute so yeah some of my general tips on how to make your notion like your notion notes look good um you know work with what you have would be using colors and highlighters so try to match them all right so sometimes what i do is like let's say that i have a title and then i make this whole thing orange and then just text make sure to only select the text and you also make it orange and you can match the colors but also just matching making sure that you have matching colors is great um i usually just use one color per note but i'm sure that um you can use like different color combinations you like and i think that would be pretty cute also make sure to use all the formatted options you can like um, making some words bold and using italic that's great to like emphasize stuff like for example here it just wouldn't look the same if it wasn't um if it wasn't bold like that it makes it all less look like one big blob of information and you don't want like a big blob of information because i don't know that be like pretty overwhelming uh like at least for me if i want to study and go like back and review my notes if and if it's all like just one big blob of information that'd be really freaking overwhelming um but yeah you can also use callouts and dividers to make your notes more interesting and also make sure to use different sizes of headings so for example here i have like one big heading for these two and then one big heading another big heading and another big heading for these three so these are like the subtitles um so that just again makes it all makes it look less like a big blob of information also i don't usually use the quote format for quotes like in this um in this note it worked for some reason sometimes i find that it just doesn't look good because it's just really big but sometimes i will use the quote uh format to like make it a title so this is a if you let's turn it into a quote and i think that's cute and just divides like the page a little bit more usually for quotes i will use the call out format because i just find i like it a little bit better and um the shortcut for the quote format is actually just type in one quotation mark and then you press space like the space bar okay if i do add a quote i usually put it in like italics because it just makes it look a little bit more like a quote but again this is all like personal preference and stuff um, and these are just my tips on how I try to make my notion look a little bit cuter. So yeah, this is how I take my notes. Um, I like to keep things simple, but I still like things to be cute and somewhat aesthetic. But for now, I think I'm good with this. I really enjoy, I've been really enjoying taking notes on Notion. Right now, I'm not taking any, as I said, because I have, I only have my physics class and that's better on like using a notebook. If you're looking for like a digital option of how to take notes, I think Notion will be great. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope it was somewhat useful and yeah, stay safe, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.